What is going on lads and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be taking a look at the best defenders to buy in eFootball 2023 because Konami have updated the defensive side of the game. Now we're going to get into this in a separate video later on tonight where we will talk about the new changes and stuff like that because a lot of people are talking about it but there is a couple of things to, to make note of as well. So I will go into a video like that as you see a couple of clips here. But basically, this can be explained in the patch notes that Konami released with the release of eFootball 2023 or V2.0.0. And as you can see here, they have said that they have implemented adjustments so that players' defensive awareness stats will influence their speed of movement and acceleration in defensive situations on top of their acceleration stats. Defenders with high defending awareness will be able to accelerate in a quicker manner, whereas attackers with low defending awareness will become slower in movement. So players with basically that have got high defensive awareness in and high defensive awareness in their stats will be able to accelerate quicker be able to move through their animations quicker which is why i've done a list of players ranging from budget buys such as arbin who starts off this list because people have been asking me for recommendations with eFootball 2023 he's 34 000, uh gp and as you see over on eFootballDB.com here, we've got him maxed out. So obviously the pricing and the player ratings are still being, the player levels are still being updated on here, but he is an absolute beast. Similarly, we've got a Toloi who is 34,000 as well. He's 185 centimeters. He's an absolute monster. And as you will see here in a second on eFootballDB, he goes up to a 90 defensive awareness, 91 engagement. So that awareness and acceleration combo is what you want from your defenders now. That is where the meta is gone. Uh, Bremer is another great option. As you see here, he starts off with a base, 74 defensive awareness, 64 acceleration. But we can actually train him up to be 90 defensive awareness and 70 acceleration. So obviously he is 70,000 and the pricing still has to be adjusted. But obviously the cheaper players aren't going to be as good as the absolute beasts. But as you get up along this list, you will see higher and higher stats. Uh, Ginter is a really good option as well. He's kind of like a midway point, 76,000 GP. And as you can see there, he goes up to an extraordinary 93 defensive awareness, but his acceleration does take a little bit of a hit. So I would be playing him in a five at the back kind of formation. Kempembe, one of the best players across FIFA, across PES, across eFootball. This guy has it all. He is an unbelievable player in eFootball 23 as well. And we get him up into the 90s in defensive awareness and 70 acceleration. And from here on in, you're going to have the best of the best. Now, Kempembe is 110,000 GP. And then there's a big jump between the rest of these players. We do have Skriniar, who is obviously the Inter Milan legendary centre back. Absolute monster. He's only 26 as well. He's got every stat that you could possibly need and a massive, massive defensive uh, rating as well as 70 acceleration. So I think 70 acceleration is the sweet spot. You need that really if you're looking for a top class end game centre back such as Marquinhos. So Marquinhos has got really good base stats. You can see there 79 defensive awareness, 80 tackling, 71 acceleration. He's probably one of the best center backs in the game, apart from the guys that come after him, but he is going to be end game levels for you. Um, 300,000. He didn't get a GP uh, upgrade in this, but he's got 93 defensive awareness and 72 acceleration. You could also have 91 defensive awareness and like 78 acceleration. So it depends what you want. Van Dijk, obviously one of the best center halves in world football at the moment. He's got really low acceleration, but he's got really high defensive awareness that you don't really need to touch. But I would be maxing out his defensive awareness. If you want to see the changes in the game, you can get Van Dijk to a 98 defensive awareness, 65 acceleration, but put him in the middle of a back uh, five or in a you know the middle of a back three even and have two like a wing backs um and he will dominate for you next up we've probably got i would say the best standard center back in the game alaba for all round uh with the way eFootball is playing at the moment and how aggressive the ai can be defensively i think alaba is definitely the best defender in the game 94 defensive awareness 75 acceleration and he can do it all he can play any position you really want him to and he is an absolute beast he's definitely should be in your squad for 200,000 in my opinion and then last but not least with the standard players, we have a little bit of uh, a kind of a hidden gem, not a hidden gem, so to speak, because he is 420,000 GP, but 84 defensive awareness, 62 acceleration. But watch Diaz's stats, lads, when you actually get him over onto eFootball DB. He's got 22 levels. As I said, he is 420,000 GP, but he's got 95 defensive awareness, 70 acceleration, 70 speed. 
and he has got like 95 aggression as well that aggression i think puts him over the top because if you've got 95 aggression 95 awareness and 70 acceleration with 70 speed he is unbelievable he's got amazing stats amazing player skills and everything you need now you can also get rudiger right a lot of people have been talking about rudiger and asking me to do a player review on him i will be going into him in a little bit more detail um i have actually signed him at the time of recording and i will be playing a couple of games with him but this guy can be got for free with a free nominating contract check out my video on that but he is probably the best if you've got a five star nominating contract if you haven't used it already or if you haven't unlocked it already check out my video this guy is probably i would say for a free option you, you can get him potentially for free with the nominating contract he is probably the best center half in the game right now he is probably the meta center back as of right now in the game especially as you can get him for free and speaking of overpowered players we do include a left back hernandez from ac milan now he is from the premium pack but you can also get the standard version of hernandez as well this guy is from the optional premium pack unbelievable left back lads he is absolutely incredible i think every single division one player probably has him or have, have used him on their journey to division one or division two any good player is going to give him a try and look at the stats right what he lets down in defensive awareness you can get that up to 85 but for a left back if you've got a back four of like rudiger van dyke hernandez on the left and then maybe a third center back like alaba on the right um or marquinhos you're going to be absolutely dominating in the back line so that is it for me lads it's a short and sweet video i'll be back later talking about the defensive awareness but they are some of my budget buys all the way up to absolute beasts and a couple of free options and then the premium edition of hernandez as well but let me know what you guys think let me know if this helps you out don't forget to subscribe as well and if you want more of these type of videos let me know as well because as i said lads there's it's all about your play style if you are a beast at the game you will be able to play with you know average to good players um but a lot of these videos that i do are, are kind of for newcomers and for guys that might overlook a lot of stuff and with these patch notes as you're seeing here i think that this is going to be a bit of a game changer in terms of how players are being picked on your team because i think the meta before was like all acceleration and speed you know and i always harped on about it if you had a really really nice pairing in midfield of uh, a good solid defensive midfielder and a good solid center midfielder somebody to bring the ball forward and somebody to track back right and then you have in your center back partnership you have a mobile versatile fast center back and you have a big tall like you know machine so like up a meccano paired with somebody like timber or up a meccano paired with somebody like um i don't know who like alaba say like so say one small one tall and then one fast and one strong in the aerial ability that they need to be able to dominate but now i think the meta has gone back to i would say kind of like the early days of my club um where it was like pez 16 pez 17 where yeah speed was a big factor online but it did come down to as well players with high aggression and being able to just win the ball cleanly without giving away a freeze without having to absolutely spam the shoulder charge so i think that as you get up the divisions you're going to come into higher skilled players that are going to be pressing you into high heavens um so yeah that is it for me let's let me know if you like this video if you want some more and i will be back later peace